They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate Today on Review Time with Tim, I'm at the shopping bag in Burlington, Vermont, where I'm gonna be testing out one of the most highly anticipated burgers in requested food magazines top number one burger in the state of Vermont. Let's go inside, order their signature burger, burger, and see what it's all about. All right, so I have gone to the shopping bag on Google Maps. It has a 4.1 rating. And as I stated before, this was voted in Food Network Magazine as the best burger in the entire state of Vermont. Not only that, according to the people of Reddit, Okay, they have also said you have not had a burger until you've tried the shopping bag burger. So, as always, so I have ordered the Sizzler burger from the shopping bag, and it is their marquee burger. Now, they also have burger specials throughout the week. Somebody was in there uh, getting a burger on top of a glazed donut, which looked absolutely fantastic. Uh, inside the place, eh, could use a little sprucing up, but it's a convenience store, a local convenience store at that. Uh, a little bit of cobwebage going on in the corners of some of the places, but other than that, it's not going to deter me from mowing down on this burger. As I've been making my way through the burgers of Vermont, you can check out my playlist on YouTube under Burgers of Vermont, and it is ranked accordingly to how I find these burgers now because the shopping bag is like a local convenience store there is like zero parking anywhere I had to circle around like 20 times just to find a spot so I didn't have to walk 20 blocks just to get to this place but here it is wrapped up in the foil and we're gonna have the unveiling right now again best burger According to Food Network Magazine in the entire state of Vermont, number one rated burger in all of Burlington. Right here, folks. Whoa. Look at that. That looks pretty. Now, according to their website, fresh ground burger in-house, well-seasoned, fresh vegetables. Oh. Oof. Yeah, going to dive into this puppy. All right, look at that. We're going to get the spin around. We're going to get the spin. We got it dripping all over the place. Look at that grease up on the wrapper. Woo! Do a little head comparison here. We got the bacon. All right, we're going to pop the hood here. We're going to pop the hood. Ooh, okay, we got some veggies. Look like they got a little bit weepy. <laughs> All right, but we got our tomato on there, aka the red ring of death. And of course, it looks like we got the purple onion on the bottom. We got pickles. We got two, two kinds of cheese. We got American and provolone on this. Now, burger. according to their website, this burger right here, $10.00. 49 cents so I can see the appeal you're getting a, what looks like to be a whole lot of burger for a very decent price over my time of consuming burgers I have had some very premium burgers at a very premium price all right let's get into this let's just take a big old bite see how it is cheers everybody That right there, that first initial bite was some sloppy goodness. Very flavorful burger. 
and all the other things that are combined in there with the bacon, the two different types of cheese, the American and the provolone and the pickle sauce, the pickle juice, I mean, and the lettuce. Oh, everything just combined. I can see why this is definitely a fan favorite voted number one burger in the state. All the combinations with this burger adds up to a very flavorful tasting patty here. I can see why this has been a fan favorite in Burlington and in the entire state of Vermont. Because one, you're adding the price tag of something that's a lower level price point and something that is extremely flavorful. Now, how will this burger stack up amongst all the other burgers I'm not quite sure yet, but it will be accordingly ranked on my playlist page. And so check that out at some point and see where this burger ranks. Now, as I dive in and dissect this shopping bag burger here, one thing I am starting to notice is the bacon. It is tasty, but it needs to be more crispy. The bacon on here is too stringy at times, and when you're biting into your, the burger, you just can't, you're really kind of chewing through it. Whereas I want that bacon on my burger to be crumbled. When you bite into it, you snap off a piece of bacon, and then you enjoy it with your burger. Getting a little bit of a pull from the bacon, so I'm getting a little bit of a on that piece. Now, as I'm almost done with the sizzler here from the shopping bag, I can see the attraction to this burger for being an about $11 burger and <clears throat> coming from a convenience store. I can see where the hype is because it is fresh, it is tasty, and for the price, you're getting a good value outside of a sit-down restaurant. I mean, look at the thickness of this burger patty. I watched the guy come out of the back room with it, put it, slap it on the grill. And I was like, man, that's a thick burger. Look at that. Look at that thickness right there. Any other restaurant charge easily 16 17 maybe even 18 dollars for the amount of burger alone that you're getting now obviously if you go to a sit-down restaurant and you order something like this you'd get fries or you'd get some kind of onion rings or some kind of side something with it of course with this obviously for the value i think it's pretty good and tasty i can absolutely see why this is voted number one here in burlington and why a magazine rated this the number one burger in Vermont. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will check you all later.